Hello everyone, welcome back. This is gonna be your October energy forecast for the Twin Flame Soul Connections out there. So it cannot possibly be for everyone watching. If it's your story, please comment below. And if not, feel free to check my channel for other messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles however they apply. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So, of course, thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. I love you guys. I really appreciate connecting with you, sharing energy with you, um, and all of your support that you show this channel is so appreciated. So, if you are subscribed and you have been purchasing private readings or subscribing to my other channels and becoming a member of my Spicy Subscriber Society, extra thank yous, love and kisses to you guys. I love connecting with you on these extra uh, um, readings extra ways so uh, yeah keep sending me your comments your feedback I love hearing from you guys if you're new to the channel definitely check out the description box below so you can see all of my social media links and links to my other channels um, especially twin flame channeled messages if you think that these readings are really resonating with you and you would like some additional content that will go nicely with this um, and yeah absolutely connect with me off of YouTube as well I love getting private messages and emails and of course like I said I love the private readings connecting with you guys one-on-one -on -one has been so much fun so um, I love you guys I can't wait to continue connecting with you and if you are like I said new to the channel and you haven't heard me say this spiel a million times remember that these journeys of twin souls are about you and your spiritual growth okay this is not about your meat bag walking around on planet earth this is about you remembering that you have been whole and complete with or without anyone standing by your side, okay? This is you remembering your power and your ability to create your reality. This is you ascending in your spiritual journey and balancing your masculine and feminine energy, your yin, your yang, your positive, your negative, and all these other um, labels that are floating around out in the spiritual community. So remember that it's not about gender. It's not about um, whether you're divine masculine and you're a woman or you're a man. It's about the fact that we all have these energies within us so some of you can be watching these readings about your own inner divine masculine and that's perfectly normal I mean I do it um, if you like those type of readings definitely check out Erica Elmitz she does really great segments on divine masculine and divine feminine energy each month that I absolutely love I really look up to her She's definitely one of the um, main readers that I listened to from the beginning of my own journey, um, as far as the Twin Flame journey that is. Um, her and Deborah Claire channeled Guidance, Scorpio Moon, Intuition, um, Happy Soul Coach, Molly is really great. So these are some other channels that you can uh, watch to see if you feel like these, um, these energies are resonating in a very common theme because I notice that. Um, if you do watch lots of Twin Flame readings, then you'll notice that the theme from month to month is pretty much the same across the board. So um, if you are the type that likes to watch these readings, just keep in mind, always use your discernment, okay? Not every single message is going to resonate with you. Not every reading is going to be your story from beginning to end, and some of them might be. Um, but I say this because there's been a lot going on in the spiritual community right now where there are a lot of tarot readers and other people um, out there trying to like debunk twin flames or or say that it's just limerence um, or you know we're just obsessing over this person that we shouldn't want and you know that's not the case and we know that right and as I always say if you're on the twin flame journey you know okay if you know you know and you shouldn't let anyone else out there deter you from what it is that you already know so once more these readings are made to help spur your spiritual growth to show you things from a different perspective to provide clarity and guidance on your spiritual journey um, these videos are not made to encourage you to get swept up in the repetitive cycle of obsession on tarot readings and another one of my um, favorite twin flame readers Kurt from uh, New World All Star says this all the time like click off of the fucking tarot reading and focus on your your spiritual journey right it's fun to do the readings it's fun to uh, look at the art and the imagery on the cards and find inspiration 
um, I don't know what just cracked behind me, but whatever that is, I feel like it was clarity and confirmation on what I'm saying. But I feel like uh, there are a lot of people out there who might think they're on the twin flame journey and they're not. And that might be, um, you know, a really unpopular opinion and I might trigger some people and I don't mean to but um, that's the whole purpose of these readings it's to discover whether you are on the journey or not to remember that regardless of whether you have found your twin flame in the physical or not or maybe you've just connected with them on the 5d level um, these readings are for self-discovery and growth okay always and forever so if at any point in time you feel as if my reading is not resonating with you you will not offend me by clicking off you will not offend me if you need to unsubscribe from my channel to take a break to find clarity and, and balance within yourself so remember to stay detached to a certain point when you're watching these readings and use your discernment always know that I'm always here uh, to support you, to help you through your journey. Um, and again, I love connecting with you guys on social media and the DMs. I love hearing from you, getting emails from you about your journey. And although um, I can't always respond right away, uh, I am reading your messages. And in a lot of ways, your messages are also confirmation and clarity in my own spiritual journey. And I'm about to tear up. but. Um, again, thank you so much for those of you who do connect with me and, and just know that just know that it's refreshing to be a part of a community of people who are going through the same things, who understand how it feels, um, and who are looking to expand their own knowledge and, and grow and, and show themselves the love that maybe they feel as if wasn't returned from their twin flame, okay? So sorry to get off on a tangent but it is mercury retrograde after all and i've been having some things coming up that i felt like i needed to talk about speak about so i will go ahead and put a timestamp down below for those of you who um don't feel like listening to a seven minute rant <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the reading. Just remember that even though most of you who are watching these readings consider yourself divine feminine energy, it is perfectly normal to resonate with the divine masculine end of the spectrum. Um, and of course, comment below if it's your reading, smash the like button um, and connect with me in any way, shape or form. So let's get into it. I'm going to start out with the Sacred Geometry Oracle as I like to do. Damn, this deck is chunky. So, um, oh, my nose is already itching. <clears throat> so let's, let's get a couple shuffles in, focus on the energy. What is the energy going to be for the month of October um, in general, romantically? Any messages that need to come out? And of course, I will be pulling the energy of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So for the Masculine, we have Alchemy. So if you guys enjoy watching my channel and you have been um, keeping tabs on the Zodiac readings, then the Magician energy is something that was popping up in a lot of those readings. And Alchemy is kind of that same energy, making things happen, taking control in your physical environment. I also think of alchemy when I think of the card temperance, okay? So it takes patience and discipline and trust in the universe sometimes to bring these things into fruition. So while we have control, while we have the ability to manifest, sometimes um, it's out of our hands, right? Sometimes there are things that are destined to take place and uh, we can't change what was meant to be, right? So let's read the meaning on the card. Lots of uh, solar plexus and root chakra energy here. Um, sacral chakra energy, this yellow, red, and orange blend here. And that is really the part of the chakra system that is ruled by the divine masculine. So to get this energy coming out, I feel like is really positive. So anyways, the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So every time I see this card and I see the true alchemist, it reminds me of the story of Jesus, okay? It reminds me of um, the way that he was able to uh, to 
rise again, right? He was able to come back as the phoenix after being ridiculed and trampled by, by his own followers, okay? People that were supposed to believe in him, people betrayed him, and he rose to the top and took control and came out as this magnificent, glorious, uh, ascended master, right? So... Jesus performed miracles, but now in, in these crazy ass times, we see miracles every day being performed by everyday people um, and magic happening. And, you know, as we move into October, uh, the spooky season and the veil starts to become thinner as we approach Samhain and, um, you know, just going through the fall equinox. It's a special time of year, right? And, um, you know, Libra season is going to be a really great time for um, for relationships, for love, for partnerships. And with Mercury in retrograde in Libra, this is going to be a really important time for us to go back and revisit all of those themes surrounding love, partnership, relationships. Um, so yeah, as, as the masculine uh, gets in that energy of magic and starts to take control over their environment, over their life, I feel like there's magic brewing under the surface maybe that is still needing to be tapped into, okay? So this is also a feeling of discovery that I'm tapping into right now. So for the feminine, we have miracle. So I love that it's the same color theme and we have this like this purple energy being peppered in here and we know that purple represents the third eye chakra. So your intuition and here we have miracle. And what do we just say? Miracles are happening every single day. People perform miracles. People perform magic. It's becoming one of those things that is more common than it was back in the day when, you know, people were getting hanged for silly things because they assumed they were a witch and things of that nature, right? Um, you know, just like Jesus performed miracles, people looked at witches as some sort of abomination or something that was unnatural. But, you know, just because there are things that you don't understand doesn't make them unnatural, doesn't make them wrong. And so with miracle popping up for the feminine, I feel like there are miracles that are coming into fruition for the feminine right now. Um, there are some ideas maybe that have been simmering, okay, things that have been manifesting behind the scenes and um, it's required a, a heavy belief okay the, the the feminine has had every right to not believe in miracles but she has been she's been pushing forward and being patient and trusting that reunions coming trusting that all of this is meant to be and that everything about the path that she's on is a part of her destiny okay so the frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible absolutely so you know really strong energy coming up for both masculine and feminine and of course um, i'm going to lay out the energy of both and see what's going on in the old head space, the heart space, and so on and so forth. But first, let's get a general message. So for both twins, we have passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So I think both twins right now are really allowing their passion and purpose to guide them. Um, you know... Without this passion, how would the masculine ever discover their magic? How would they ever discover their potential? Without this passion, how would the feminine ever be able to leave in herself as a part of that source in creating these miraculous things in her universe? Okay, so passion, alchemy, miracles. I feel like things are really going to be manifesting and coming into fruition in October. Okay, so... Let me set this deck aside and let's move into the Crow Tarot. So I'm going to be using this deck for the masculine and seeing what's going on in their thoughts, their conscious awareness. So the first card out in their conscious awareness is the Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles is that miserly energy. Uh, really focused on stacking their coin, building some sort of stable situation for themselves 
And, you know, they're coming from a place of loss, I feel like, because, you know, in the Four of Pentacles, we have this crow clinging to their, their assets, holding on tightly to the things that they are um, manifesting because they don't want to lose it. They don't want to end up in a place of poverty or distress or, you know, being left out in the cold, financially struggling. But essentially, we know that this is the energy that leads to that. By clinging too hard to the physical, we end up manifesting that self-fulfilling prophecy. We end up putting ourselves in a place of distress because we're not allowing the energy to flow, okay? So this is someone who um, still hasn't realized that abundance is something that they are, okay? I feel like this is a lesson that the Divine Feminine has already learned. Now the masculine is reaching that point where they're realizing that, you know, the more they cling to the physical, the more they try to hold on to their environment and keep things from falling apart. It's almost like the divine is kind of chuckling at them and saying, you know what, you can hold on to those pentacles all you want, but if it's not meant for you, then it's going to end up slipping out of your hands. So this could also be the, the masculine becoming aware of that fact, knowing that they've spent so much time holding on to a karmic, a situation, um, some sort of financial setup that they were afraid of losing. That's exactly what's going to end up happening for them and they know it. Okay. I think also they're starting to try and again, make things happen for themselves in the physical but they could be focused too hard on that right now, okay? So let's talk about how they're feeling. What's going on in their heart space right now for their Divine Feminine? Page of Pentacles. So this is more Earth energy. Um, I see this as someone who is learning, studying, someone who is starting a new journey of stability for themselves. The pages are messenger cards, and I do see this as kind of like a small offer. But since this is going on in their heart space, I feel like what they're really focused on right now is planting that seed, starting this journey, getting things moving, but they're planning to take their time. In their heart, it's like they don't want to rush anything. They really want to focus on becoming stable before they come forward with a big, huge offer for their feminine. This is someone who is an entrepreneur. So your masculine could also be thinking about ways to make money, trying to um, put their ideas down into the, the dirt and grow something real for themselves. So this could also be them like really wanting to move things forward and come forward with a stable offer, but knowing that they're not actually ready just yet, okay? So the Ten of Wands came out in the reverse for how the masculine is viewing the feminine. And in the pre-shuffle earlier when I was kind of clearing the energy from this deck, this card popped out quite a bit. So they're viewing the feminine as the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like they know the feminine is burdened by this connection in a sense. They feel like, you know, obviously there's a lot that they want to unload and, and tell the feminine. They want to release burdens of their own. But seeing them in the Ten of Wands as reversed, it's like the masculine's also aware that the feminine is not wanting to let the masculine go, regardless of what burdens are being faced right now. So whether you yourself, the watcher, are dealing with these burdens or you know that this is something your masculine is going through, they're aware that you're watching them and they could even be aware that they know that you know that there's something they need to release that they're not releasing, okay? So going back to this four of pentacles, this masculine is really trying to hold on with every bit of strength that they have to make sure that things don't fall apart, right? Um, maybe they're worried that they're going to lose a big sum of money if this, uh, if they do put down this burden, if they do end some sort of cycle with another partner, connection, whatever it is. And so looking at the feminine, seeing them struggling, it's like they're aware. You know that they know that you know that they know that, that you know, okay? That's kind of the energy I'm seeing here. It's like looking into, um, it's like looking into the mirror, but then behind that mirror is another mirror. You know what I'm talking about? When you look, you have a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you, <laughs> and you look into the mirror and you can just see infinite versions of yourself, front and back. Um, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's like that house of mirrors, and now I'm getting that haunted house vibe. So, you know, maybe this situation for the masculine is kind of scary. Uh, maybe it's one of those things where every time they turn around and they think they've found the escape, they're just looking at another mirror. 
okay? So this could be a really triggering time for the masculine, especially knowing there are things that they need to release, knowing there are burdens that they are done carrying, but there's something about what's going on right now in their mind. It's like they, it's like almost like they don't believe like they can put the burden down without losing everything, okay? Whew. So what is this Divine Masculine's likely actions moving forward in the month of October? We have the world promising. So once more, this Masculine in their conscious awareness could be realizing like basically they've been shooting themselves in the foot this whole time. By clinging desperately to the things they're afraid to lose, they're, they're slowing themselves down, okay? They're actually withholding from themselves by playing small and moving slowly when what they really want to do is present the feminine with this offer. They know they can't do it until they release the burdens and you know watching the feminine refuse to hold on to these type of things it is inspiring for them. It is getting to them to that point where gosh I can't even talk y'all. Thank you Mercury Retrograde in advance. It's getting to them <laughs> it's getting them to the point to where they're finally ready to close out these cycles, okay? This is their likely actions moving forward, completing the fool's journey, learning the lessons of the universe, ready to take action and move forward into a promising new cycle, okay? And I love how we have this king's crown coming down on top of the crow. It kind of reminds me of the emperor and we do have the infinity symbols. It's like once more, we talk about what's destined to happen versus what we can control, right? It's almost like the masculine's realizing that this was always meant to happen between them and the feminine. This was that never-ending connection, that soul tie, that bond, that infinite love that's been transcending from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime and will continue to do so. So it's like the evidence keeps piling up for this masculine and they're realizing like, you know what? I'm never going to be able to move forward in my life. I'm never going to get to the point of stability and success and, and rise up in my power if I'm still holding on to the things that are hurting me, okay? It's like holding on to a hot iron. Why would you do that? Shooting yourself in the foot. Being your own worst enemy. For some of you, you can be connecting with a Virgo, okay? That's typically a trait, of a Virgo is to um, overthink, overanalyze, obsess over the physical and obsess over um, perfection to the point of slowing themselves down, blocking themselves. They're seeing that now. They feel that now. And now they're being encouraged to really finally close out that cycle, okay? So for those of you who this is resonating with, hopefully October is the month where you will be getting some closure with this masculine, where they will be ending that cycle and learning the lessons once and for all. So let's get the energy of their true desired outcome with the feminine. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Once more, that overthinking energy. This is also Libra energy, which makes perfect sense because basically all of October is going to be one fat Mercury retrograde. So with this Libra energy of, of like fear and indecision because of, um, you know, worrying that maybe they're going to get cut or burned, this is someone overthinking something to the point of obsessing, Okay. I feel like the Eight of Swords is someone allowing themselves to remain trapped because they think that they're trapped, but they're not really, right? And so when this card comes up in the reverse, this masculine is really desiring to be set free from these these thoughts that have been controlling them. You know, they realize that they've been keeping themselves blindfolded. They realize that they've been doing everything in their power to not see the truth of how powerful they are. So with this card coming up in the reverse, I really do think that they desire to escape that mentality, to finally um, be willing to move things forward and not let their doubts, their fears, their anxieties hold them back from getting what they want, which is stability, which is being with the feminine. And finally, what is something going on in this masculine's behind the scenes that we don't know about right now that may be revealed in October? 
So nine of wands coming up in the reverse too. Yeah, I feel like I feel like what's going on right now is this person is really hurt. They're wounded. They're guarded. This is the wounded warrior. And even though, you know, this crow seemed to have dropped his wand, maybe this masculine has seemed to <clears throat> ignore his power or, or felt as if he was um, slowed down from being able to manifest his true passion. This masculine is also coming to the understanding that in order for them to raise this wand to the sky and be the alchemist of their reality, they need to complete this cycle. They need to stop allowing these burdens and, and these fears and maybe people, places, things, making them think that they can't have what they want from actually getting what they want. So I really think that they're done um, allowing themselves to hide away. I think that they're starting to let their guard down a little bit. Um, and, you know, I think they're also kind of seeing the end of, of this cycle. They're looking into the future in a sense, and they're seeing what needs to be done in order for them to end that cycle, in order for them to close out that hurt and that burden of doing everything for everyone else, making everything around them perfect and, and trying to hold on to their physical environment like it's not spinning out of control and glitching the matrix, okay? This is someone who is understanding that they've, They've put walls up long enough, basically. Letting their guard down is what I keep hearing. So, very interesting energy coming out for the masculine. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups also in the reverse. So we know the Five of Cups to be kind of crying over the past, thinking about the love and, and the missed opportunities of what could have, should have, would have been. Um, but behind this crow's back, there is the two of cups and the cups are still full. So I think also this masculine's realizing that they've spent a long enough time grieving over the past. Okay. They've spent enough time grieving over the timeline in which they couldn't be with their feminine. They're starting to realize that by releasing themselves from that pain, uh, from that regret, from that sadness, that they can actually still move things forward and find union. They just need to have the courage to let their guard down and end this cycle once and for all, okay? So very interesting messages um, coming up for the masculine, and we're going to be looking into the Divine Feminine's energy as well. So for those of you who don't already know, this is the Crow Tarot. Um... And you know what, guys? I just looked underneath that card, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So I do feel as if this person, if they are in a long-term connection, I feel like that's exactly what they know needs to happen. They know they need to end this connection. They need to end something in order to move forward. Okay, this could also be a reiteration of the energy of the Five of Cups, basically crying over the past or what could have been with the feminine. Um, clearly, a lot of you who are watching this video, you are not sitting in the Ten of Pentacles with your masculine just yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it can't be manifested. And I think that's what this masculine is starting to realize, is that if they want a committed connection with their feminine, they need to put themselves in a position where they're not tied down to anyone else, okay? Might sound kind of like, duh, like obvious, but you know, when you're in a long-term connection with someone, when you've been with someone forever um, and you happen to meet someone else and your whole world falls apart and you realize like, wait, the person I'm actually with isn't supposed to be the one that I'm with, um, when you start realizing and start picturing and visualizing the life that you want to have with someone else and you're already in a connection, that shit is very difficult to deal with, okay? Um, it's basically like you are you have to force yourself to see outside of the reality that you already created for yourself and dare to create a new one, a better one one that's actually happy and stable um, and that will last forever, okay? So very interesting energy. Um, and you know, I keep looking at the bottom of the deck and I know I shouldn't, but we have temperance right after that. So like I said earlier, you know, there's a fine line between what we can control 
and what is divinely guided. Temperance is all about divine guidance and timing, being patient, allowing the alchemy behind the scenes to take place, okay? Your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, the universe. So in times where you feel like you're in separation from your person, just remember that behind the scenes, you've got support. You've got everyone working to orchestrate the perfect scenario just for you, okay? So remember, when you're manifesting, you need to be in the vibration of what you are trying to call in. So the best thing for you to do is to vibrate higher, okay? Be the most favorite version of yourself at any given time and leave your arms open to welcome in the surprises of the universe, okay? Mercury retrograde is also a time where people come back from the past. So for a lot of you, you might be hearing from your divine masculine during this time, okay? With the world happening in their likely actions, you know, like I said, some of you might be receiving closure. Some of you might be hearing news from your masculine that they have finally closed out a cycle, okay? So keep the faith. Be strong. Believe in miracles because it can and it will happen, but it won't if you don't believe in it, okay? So let's get into the Santa Muerte Tarot for the feminine and see what is the overall message here. What is going on in your conscious awareness? What is going on in the feminine's conscious awareness? So uh, what number is this? The Seven of Wands. So yeah, feminine, you're being really strong right now. I feel like in your mind, your goal is to really defend this connection, to stand up for what's right. You're not going to let anyone penetrate this boundary that you put up. Anyone who tries to um, challenge you, test you, you're being very, very strong. You're standing in your highest energy and you're planning to continue on with your own passion and purpose. This is the energy of a believer. This is the warrior energy. Okay, so this popping up in your conscious awareness, I absolutely love that. It's like no matter what anyone says, no matter um, what things you might hear or what energy might cross your path, it's like nothing is going to stop you from believing in this connection. And that's really like awesome. Okay, so feminines, let's talk about what's going on in your heart space. We have justice, Libra season, baby, justice, energy, truth, clarity, balance. In your heart, I think that a lot of you have been waiting for your divine masculine to get a divorce, get separated. This is the energy of legal matters, court issues, justice being served. So regardless of what side of the spectrum you're on, in your heart, it's like you really just want balance and fairness. You want the truth. You want clarity about this connection, which could be why you're watching this reading. Okay, In your heart, though, I think you already know that that justice is going to be served. Okay, the scales can't remain unbalanced forever. So let's talk about how you're viewing this masculine in the physical world. <laughs> Beautiful energy. So you're viewing the masculine in the energy that they came up in, in their general overall message. Alchemy, taking control. King of Wands, look at him. He's pointing to the sky. He's got a destination and ain't nobody is going to stand in this man's way. Right, man, woman. It's a masculine energy coming through. So the king is um, similar to that emperor energy, right? Someone who takes control of their passion, their purpose. Who is very sure about what they want, right? Someone who's really thought things through. This isn't the Knight of Wands. Okay, this isn't someone who just rushes forward without thinking about the consequences. This is someone who's already dealt with consequences. So they already know that the path they're about to take is one that they're not going to back down from. The feminine sees that in the masculine. So if you're connecting with your masculine energetically in October and feeling this like rise of the masculine energy, um, then yeah, I mean, definitely this could be confirmation for you. So what are your likely actions moving forward in the month of October? So we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So we know the Seven of Cups to be a card of fantasies, dreams, illusions, confusion, overwhelming, and need to make decisions. But with this card in the reverse, I feel like the feminine's energy is... No matter how many options that she may have, no matter how confusing this journey is or how overwhelming it might seem, 
again, more of this energy of not backing down, knowing and being certain, okay, that the dream and fantasy that she's calling in is not some crazy illusion, okay? This isn't just some unrealistic fantasy that can never be attained. The feminine is very certain as she moves forward that there are no decisions that need to be made, okay? That the masculine is her dream, and that dream is going to come true. This is the energy of a believer once more. More seven energy. Luck, fortune, okay? Libra is a lucky season. So very deep emotions um, for this masculine here. And like I said, no matter how overwhelming it might seem, you are energetically aware of your masculine's rise to the top. You know that they're about to take action, which is why you're starting to believe in miracles again, because you can feel this energy. So let's talk about your true desire with this masculine. What is the desired outcome here? And we have the chariot. Yeah, so your desire is to get this show on the road already, right, feminine? So we know that the energy of, of the chariot is cancer energy, um, needing to gain balance, uh, similar to the energy of Libra. It's a cardinal energy. Um, and we have the, the 69 symbol, right? Uh, as the energy of cancer, which also to me reminds me of yin yang, balancing of light and dark energies. So that is really the desire here, the desire for balance, um, a conquering over the shadows and ability to move forward simultaneously in the same direction. So a lot of energy in the chariot cards <clears throat> in the tarot kind of show two sphinxes, two horses, two entities, whatever they are in whatever deck it is that you're thinking of, there's always the energy of either the two entities going off in separate directions or um, not moving at all. So with the energy of the chariot, there is also that uh, need for pause before taking action. So it is forward motion. It is the energy of, you know, finally stepping on that gas pedal and getting the hell out of Dodge. But you're obviously not going to want to do that unless your masculine's on the same page as you. So even though your desire is to move things forward and finally hit the road and start your new life with the masculine, um, the feminine truly desires this balance, okay? She's desiring her masculine to come forward in a balanced and sure energy, okay? Are you sure that you locked the door behind you, masculine? Are you sure that you're, uh, you don't need to go back into the house for anything, Okay? This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need to double check anything? Did you turn the straightener off? <laughs> Did you lock up? Did you close the garage? Did you get that last box loaded onto the U-Haul truck, masculine? That's the energy that I'm feeling right now. Okay, so for those of you who are waiting for your masculine to rent that U-Haul and finally get the fuck out of there, excuse my language, but for you that are waiting for that to happen, that is your desire. That's what you know is going to happen. The chariot's going to take off eventually, right? It's going to take off eventually, and I have a feeling that it's going to be you and your masculine riding off into the sunset, okay? So let's talk about you and what's going on behind the scenes that maybe your masculine doesn't know. And we have the uh, nine of panic. Wait a minute. Hold on. Seven. Okay, so it's po pointing outwards. So yeah, it is the nine of pentacles. So what's going on for you, feminine, is you're stable. You're secure. You are satisfied being single. I think you're to that point where like it doesn't bother you to be single. You're no longer pining over the masculine or, or being codependent on anyone or, or seeking validation from them in the physical. This is you pre empress energy, getting things, um, uh, settled is what I'm hearing. So being very strong and independent with or without your masculine, that's the goal, right? Knowing that union is promised, not worrying about if and when they're going to show up, just knowing that they are in divine timing. So the best thing you can do is stay in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Stay strong, stable. This is also the energy of someone who is successful in business. So feminine, you could be making money 
in the month of October. Mercury retrograde is known to bring in more sales and as we approach holiday season, people are you know buying lots of things, Halloween is approaching, then you've got Thanksgiving, you've got Christmas, you've got New Year's and all the other muggle holidays that we celebrate, right? So continue to stay in that stable energy, okay? Don't, don't allow yourself to forget how powerful you are and how much of, of the source you are and you're connected to that source by being everything that you need to be with or without this person in the physical. That's what's going on for you. And whether your masculine can see that or not, for some of you they can. For some of you they can see that in the physical. For some of them they feel that energetically. Regardless of whatever it is, the feminine is and always will be the light that guides the masculine back home. So let's take a look at the bottom of the deck for you, feminine. We have the eight of cups. So, you know, and look, she's over here contemplating and these cups are spilling over on a crown that's on her head. So again, for those of you who are really thinking about your masculine at this time, wondering when it is that they're going to finally walk away and shut the door once and for all, uh, finally learn the lessons of the universe and close out that cycle. Uh, I think that you yourself have walked away from that need to obsess over it. Okay. I think you yourself are understanding that Regardless of whether or not you're talking about your masculine, karmic partner, soulmate, you are not willing to stick around in any connections that are not vibrating at your energetic level. You're not going to stick around and pine over your masculine and again require validation or, or allow yourself to get sad or upset or distraught about them. You're going to focus on the path to union, that two of cups. Okay, so a lot of growth for you, feminine. I feel like you're no longer letting the energy of the past hold you back from manifesting the future. And so this energy of the seven of wands defending the connection, I think that that's been a big theme for the divine feminine over the last couple of readings. Finally, closing the door to your own past. Okay, so going back to what we said, those of you who are waiting for your masculine to finally close the door and lock it behind them forever, to finally pack up that U-Haul and head on over to your place. Remember, you cannot expect your masculine to close the door on those chapters if you're still holding on and holding the book open to the chapters of the past, okay? So that message was for someone, not for everyone. Um, and then also... <clears throat> We have the Knight of Cups underneath that card. So I really think, too, feminine, you've just been kind of waiting for your knight in shining armor to show up metaphorically, right? You're waiting for this, um, this confession, this outpouring, this admittance of feelings. But I think you're also aware that if your masculine were to come forward, if when they still weren't ready, if they still had some fear behind them, that the chariot would not be able to move forward, right? It wouldn't be a balanced energy. So if you are anticipating this offer from your masculine, but on some level deep down you're worried or you're afraid or um, you, know, you, you might even feel that urge to bolt and become the runner, just remember that all of these things can be worked on within. So any fears or doubts that you might still have kind of lingering, down deep down <laughs> allow yourself to release those and trust that the message is going to come forth when it's time okay um so yeah very interesting message for the feminine um and let's go ahead and get into the osho zen and see what is the challenge what's the blockage here for the masculine um, what do we need to know about their situation even that could be challenging in the month of october sorrow so I see this as the nine of swords energy okay this is someone really losing sleep over analyzing we had the eight of swords and the uh, the ten of wands in reverse the nine of wands in reverse I think this person is really going through a lot Okay, sorrow to me, I feel like they're really missing the feminine right now. And, you know, look, they're all wrapped up in their snuggie. They're wiping their tears. They're sobbing. Um, whether or not this masculine is doing so for other people to see, which I don't think that they are. I feel like this is a private energy. 
I feel like behind closed doors, you know, whether or not they're acting like everything's hunky-dory, that's on them, right? The mask that they wear in the physical to the people in their environment, uh, that's one thing. But behind closed doors, this masculine is distraught, okay? They are at a point of, like, they're really losing sleep over the situation. They know that they've been holding themselves back for various reasons. They know that they want to communicate how they feel, but I think at this point right now, they're just focused on the fact that they're so sad at how things are happening right now for them. They could be really dealing with someone in their environment that makes them feel trapped like this. Okay, they could be really scared to move things forward, which is putting them in a state of despair. So let's see what else we have for the masculine. What else do we have for the Divine Masculine for the month of October? Yeah, aloneness. So we have the Hermit, more Virgo energy. So I really feel like when this Masculine feels this way, what they're doing is they're going within. Okay, they're hermiting. They're keeping to themselves. They're not sharing their inner wisdom, okay, the things that they've learned, uh, the confirmations from spirit that they're getting about the feminine, about their journey and what they need to do moving forward. This is someone going inside and channeling the wisdom that they always knew was in there. They've just been kind of hiding it from themselves. So we know the divine masculine is powerful, okay? We know that they're the alchemists of their reality. They're the emperor. They're strong. But on some level, just like the Divine Feminine has forgotten her own power in the past, the Masculine has forgotten his. So now the challenge is for them to go in themselves, to transmute that sorrow, that sadness, and channel it into wisdom. Okay, Use this energy to learn from their situation and to figure out the steps moving forward. Okay, They're, they're looking for the light now. That's the difference. Before, maybe they were shutting themselves off to the light. Maybe they were putting the blindfold on or, or putting their little, <laughs> you know, I'm picturing someone in bed with one of those like masks on to block out the light. It's like maybe this masculine um, could be the type to oversleep or, or has been depressed and uses sleep to escape, okay? Um, not going to lie, I've been there, all right? Dark night of the soul is rough. So I kind of feel like that's what they're going through right now. They're being really triggered into seeking the wisdom within themselves, spending time going within. They could even be having really intense dreams that are, are keeping them awake, right? Keeping them up um, and, and showing them the truth of their situation, which could be really hard to acknowledge, especially if they've been numbing or they've been blocking it out. So anything else for the masculine from the Osho Zen? This is a really great deck, by the way. It's freaking beautiful. I love it. Look at that nothingness. Mm. Nothingness. So, nothing says dark night of the soul more than nothingness, okay? Nothing says it more than this plain old black card of darkness, okay? This person's really going through it. I think, too, that they are kind of numb to their situation at this point. I nothing them is what I just heard. So your person could be an empath, okay? They could be really triggered and brought down and held down by the people in their environment. And we've been getting lots of messages about some nasty karmics, okay? So if there's someone in this person's environment that has been making them feel stuck, that has been making them feel like, you know, that they don't have anything without them... This person, your masculine, nothings that situation anymore. They don't have any care left in them for any of that drama, okay? What they want to do is they want to come out of this darkness. They want to start seeking the light and finding the solution to what's going to make them happy, what's going to take them out of this void. So what's going on for the feminine? What's the challenge or the blockage during October? Wow, so we've got guilds interesting so more eight of swords energy feminine do not let okay pause protect your ass period protect your ass do whatever it takes to protect your energy okay go within yourself go into hermit mode do not allow just anyone up in these streets to have access to your mind to have access to your energy going back to the rant okay 
don't allow, um, don't allow anyone to make you feel guilty for the things that have happened in your past. There may be things coming up for you in October with this retrograde and all of these other planets in retrograde, okay? Because I'm pretty sure everyone's at the retrograde party right now. Very important time where you're going to be revisiting the past in your mind, okay? Don't allow this energy to tear you apart. Don't allow yourself to feel guilty for the way things happen between you and your masculine. Remember, everything happens for a reason, even the shitty parts, okay? Don't allow this to tear you apart, whatever it is, any doubts, fears, guilt, shame, all of those energies, banish them from, your, from yourself, from your environment from your family, anyone in your environment. Put up protection spells. Wear your crystals and amulets. I've been talking about this a lot recently, okay? And other readers in the tarot community have been as well. And I didn't shout out my friend Carrie earlier, but also if you like the readings that I do, definitely check out uh, Healing Light Tarot 1111. My friend Carrie does amazing readings. And we've had conversations behind the scenes about this. Lots of energy and messages coming up to the surface, things being revealed about karmic partners and situations that need to come to an end, dangerous situations. If you watch my Zodiac readings, the card of the bleach being poured into the cereal came up so many times. I've seen so many things pop up on social media, um, you know, a man discovering or a woman discovering that her husband was poisoning her coffee because she put a hidden camera in the kitchen, like crazy things okay protect yourself don't allow yourself to get back into your mind into that dark night of the soul energy because you might feel that energy coming from your masculine instead of allowing it to drag you back to that place transmute it okay allow yourself to be um, light-hearted and free and focus on the future wow I just had deja vu and I'm seeing the card playfulness more deja vu so allow yourself to be light and free I see this as also like a full energy looking towards the new beginning focusing on what's to come and trusting that everything is unfolding for your highest good okay um, don't allow yourself to get trapped in the mind or in the past focus on this future even if you might feel foolish doing so is what I just heard okay See if we have anything else for the feminine. What other energy do we have? Laziness. Okay. Uh, so I see this as like the nine of cups energy. You see someone sitting here drinking their little cocktail with their sunglasses on. This man needs a toupee like no one else. So... Don't get lazy, okay, feminine? Don't allow yourself to forget about your meditations. Don't allow yourself to um, get into that energy. You know, like I said, this sorrow, aloneness, and nothingness that your masculine will be experiencing in the month of October is going to be felt very heavily by you, okay? So don't forget to stay true to yourself. Don't get lazy on your spiritual practice, whatever that might be, okay? Don't get too confident or cocky about what's going on for you, especially if you're here in that Nine of Pentacles energy. The Nine of Cups to me is being satisfied with what you have, getting everything you asked for. But I think Spirit's telling you, like, even if you're getting to that place of satisfaction within yourself and that you are happy, don't allow yourself to stop doing the work from that point. Okay, don't get lazy about it. Keep having the faith. Keep believing that you deserve more than Nine Cups. Okay, you deserve that Ten. You deserve that reunion, that happy ending with your masculine, okay? And for the mutual energy, we have beyond illusion. <laughs> beyond illusion, and this is the energy of judgment. So I feel like both twins... Okay, channeling that passion energy from before. Both twins are starting to understand that this isn't some fake ass shit, okay? This is not just some some random thing that happened that just happened to be a coincidence, right? You're both starting to see beyond the illusions of the 3D, understanding that you are one, okay? Understanding that maybe the judgment calls that you've made about this person in the past weren't so accurate, right? This is spirit reminding you, calling to your attention, 
that there are decisions that need to be made in order to move forward into the promising future that you're trying to call in. So I really feel like the big challenge for both of you right now, especially do, during all of the, rec oh, can't even talk again, thank you Mercury for the retrograde bullshit. Both of you during this retrograde season are going to need to stay consistent and seeing beyond the illusion of what's going on in your environment, okay? That is especially true if, like I said, there are things that are triggering you during this time or making you go back into your mind, into that dark place. See beyond the illusion of the mind. Remember that that's not who you are. You're not your mind. You're not your meat suit or your meat bags, as one of my lovely subscribers pointed out, uh, which I love saying now, meat bags. So, you know, it's not about the meat bags you're carrying around on earth. It's about your soul. It's about who you are, your consciousness, okay? So remember that. See beyond the illusions. And I think that you are feminine, considering as we have that uh, Seven of Cups energy in the reverse. So a very strong reading. Let's get a card from the Rumi Oracle and see what Spirit's advice is for the twins moving forward. Okay, and you know what? As I shuffled, this card actually flew off the top. Okay, so we have divine discontent. So, you know, this kind of reminds me of the chariot in a sense. It's like you know that the chariot's going to move eventually, um, but there's still work to do. There's still balance that's needed. So when I see divine discontent, I also think to myself, we talked about this earlier, even the divinely guided moments that feel very shitty, that make you feel, um, you know, not right, that make you feel unhappy, unsatisfied, even those moments are being orchestrated for our highest good, okay? These moments unfold when there are lessons that we need to learn. So <clears throat> I definitely would like to read from the book on this, um, on this card. <clears throat> so you have the number 12. Been seeing 1212 a lot by the way um, which is also another confirmation a sign that reunion is near so divine discontent the poem here and this is the Rumi Oracle which I really wanted to use because uh, Rumi and I share the same birthday uh, clearly not the same year but um, I've always been fascinated by poetry and prose, and uh, I've always been inspired by Rumi's words. So um, just another reminder, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but definitely join me on Thursday night, 10 p.m. I'm going to be going live. I haven't been live on YouTube since my last birthday when I did my birthday giveaway. So I'm really excited to connect with you guys and pull some cards and, and chat. But anyways, back to the poem. So Winter falls upon us, so spring can bring new growth. Cry the tears, allow the longing. Sadness brings surrender and a deep desire to be free. So, <clears throat> wow, that is really powerful. And you know what? It's true. The crappy moments that unfold before our eyes that make us feel like, wow, how can this possibly be happening? That dark night of the soul, that sadness, that sorrow those feelings that we feel that are brought up to the surface, they're meant to be purged so that we can welcome in the new beginning that we're trying to manifest. Similar to the concept of, you know, after every, you know, storm, there is a rainbow, okay? And rainbows signify twin flame union, okay? So keep that in mind, you guys. In the month of October, don't allow yourself to be distracted by the things that you see in the physical don't allow yourself to fall back into these thoughts of sorrow and sadness. And even if you feel like you need to be extra strong during the month of October to transmute that energy for your twin, know that what's on the other side is this new beginning, okay? Stay in that light energy. Continue to love yourself and show yourself the kindness that you know you deserve, okay? And don't let anyone or anything get inside of your mind and allow you to um, have your energy sucked away, okay? Um, banish all of those thoughts. Banish that energy from your life because you've worked so hard to move past this energy. You don't want to slip back into a cycle that you've already learned from, 
okay? So let's get into the messages. Um, and you know what's crazy, y'all, is I was looking over to the side and I realized I actually didn't put this face down and we talked about temperance earlier. And I was just talking to a friend the other day um, about how much I... I'm annoyed by the temperance card, right? But I've always been a very impatient person, and that's been one of the biggest lessons that I feel like the divine continues to take me through. Um, I've learned so much on this journey. So every time I see the temperance card, I just have to laugh because, you know, like I said at the beginning, we can only control so much, right? We can only take matters into our own hands and, and walk so far. We cannot change what is meant to be, okay? And I think that both twins are starting to realize that now. There's no way to fight against what is meant to happen, what is destined to be. So let's talk about um, the feminine and masculine's messages from their higher selves. Of course, I will be using my own decks that I created, which are the Divine Feminine Energy Oracle and the Divine Masculine Energy Oracle. So if you are a deck collector, please feel free to check the link below. You can purchase my deck. Um, and I actually think I'm going to be running a special for my birthday on all of my decks. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that announcement. I'll probably put that up in my community tab. So yeah, let's see what the feminine has to say. These could be messages from your own higher self. These could also be messages from your masculine's divine feminine energy. Okay, so take the messages as they resonate with you. So let's see what we have for the feminine in the month of October. <clears throat> Goodness, I feel like I woke up today, Mercury retrograde, scratchy throat, <laughs> inability to say things, um, trouble communicating, all of the, the normal things. <clears throat> so I know that it's probably annoying to hear me clear my throat repetitively, but I'm doing my best, okay? So let's see what we have for the feminine, please, on this long reading that is over an hour. All right, so first message out for the feminine. I have faith that we will get it right in this life. Exactly the energy that has been coming through this entire reading, okay? We also have, I'm on a journey of self-discovery. Yeah, discovering what makes you happy, what makes you feel whole, um, discovering your power, okay? Let's see what else we have for the feminine. I am love. Yes, you are. I continue to shine my light so that you can find your way home. Keep doing it, feminine, because they can feel it. They can see it, okay? It's impossible to ignore at this point. <clears throat> Anything else for the feminine? I'm ascending into the 5D and beyond. So, you know, feminines connecting with your masculine in the 5D, um... And, and going beyond that energy and really connecting in every way, shape, or form. You'd be surprised um, how connected you are if you really get focused and tune into their energy. There's nothing like the love that we share. Absolutely. There is no connection like your twin flame, okay? Twin flames is not soulmates. It's not the same, okay? There's nothing like your twin flame. Just like there's nothing like you, feminine. Okay, you are your twin flame. I'm beautiful inside and out. So feminine is also starting to have an appreciation of not just their powers on an energetic level, but their physical body. Okay, so, you know, there's been a lot of that too in the collective, um, <clears throat> really appreciating your physical body, appreciating the body that has gotten you through these crazy ass times and this journey, okay? Understanding that you are unique in your skin. It doesn't matter if it's uh, saggy, if it's got stretch marks, if you got some extra weight in your belly area, if you got them, you know, bingo arms happening. Like, it doesn't fucking matter what you look like, feminine. Your masculine doesn't care, okay? They don't care because you are one another. They see you as the ultimate form of beauty, Okay, physically and within. All right, so let's talk about, ooh, I just got chills. Feminine, also, I'm living in the moment. That's very important, okay? <clears throat> Staying present, living in the moment, trusting that every moment that you're in is exactly where you need to be, okay? Let's talk about masculine messages. What does the masculine have to say? Okay. 
What does the masculine have to say to the feminine for the month of October? <laughs> I have the power to create my own reality. And isn't that just the first card that we saw pop up in this reading, alchemy? I have the power to create my own reality. I find strength in vulnerability. Okay, so transmuting this energy of sorrow and, and being alone and, and being in the void is, is very powerful for this masculine. They're starting to realize how powerful they are, how strong they are, that experiencing their emotions is not a weakness. Okay, it's a strength. Your light came on and woke me up. Yeah, and you know what? I'm looking at this card right here, the hermit card. It's like, look, there's this light shining and he's peeping out into the uh, into the abyss. Like, what the fuck is that, right? What is that? That's my feminine, okay? Your light came on and woke them up. Now it's like they can't unsee the path ahead of them. What else do we have from the masculine from this deck, please? So the intensity of our connection scares me. So another thing too, you know, being scared... <clears throat> shit. I can't tell you how many times I've been scared by the, the journey, by the connections that I've made with my masculine and the 5D, the messages that I've received about his situation, about what's going on within him. Um, and it is really scary. Okay. It is intense. So that could also be another reason why this masculine is afraid to let go of the reality that he's already created for himself. Okay. And this is something I talked about in one of my channeled messages the other day. Um, the masculine is realizing that they've created this reality and they're not happy in it, okay? And now they need to move forward and create a new reality, one with their feminine that's going to be everything they've ever wanted and more, okay? We have manifestation via masturbation. This masculine is... This masculine is thinking about you, okay? Anytime that they get alone, anytime that they can, I feel like... They're connecting to that sensual, sexual energy. And alchemy is about manifestation. We have the solar plexus energy, which is your sexual energy, okay? I'm researching this connection. So this masculine is really looking into things now, okay? Kind of can't help yourself, right? After a while, when you like really try really, really hard to let go of someone, you try not to think about them, but you can't. It's like, what else do you do? You Google it, right? <laughs> you look into it. You're like, why can't I stop thinking about this person? And then all of a sudden, all of these articles, these websites, twin flame things start popping up. You can't stop thinking about this person because they're your twin flame. They're your soulmate. They start learning about all of these terms and this energy, and it's impossible for them to turn around and face anywhere but this light feminine okay and uh, also we have I understand how important this connection is <laughs> so yeah you know they're really seeing things in a new light they're really um, gonna be transmuting this energy of sorrow and sadness and I think at some point it's like everyone has a breaking point Okay, everyone has a breaking point where they put up with something for so long, they allow things to just, you know, slide. They think, oh, it'll get better. Oh, this person can change. Oh, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's me. They start gaslighting themselves. They start allowing their karmic partners to gaslight them and make them feel as if they're trapped or they can't or they don't deserve more. Okay. Whatever the personal situation that's going on between you and your masculine, only you will know. But it's important to know that this masculine is reaching new levels of discovery and they're transmuting this dark night of the soul energy so that they can finally get to this point of the world of completion, okay? So I know this reading was extra long. Um, I hope that you guys uh, appreciate it. If you are not asleep by now, and as you can hear, my very loud refrigerator chimed in because they felt like they were being left out apparently. But, uh, but yeah, I hope to see you guys on my live on Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Uh, again, definitely subscribe to my new channels. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this reading. Comment below. Reach out to me in any way you feel is comfortable for you. And of course, I hope that you enjoy uh, the month of October, spooky season, Halloween, all of the great things that are coming for you. Um, and stay in your light energy, feminine. Stay positive and trust that... Um, that these things that you're experiencing, these messages that you're getting, it's all for a reason, okay? It's all for a reason. Uh, and the reason is you, all right? So I love you guys so much. I enjoyed this reading. I hope that it finds you well. And I cannot wait to connect with you again very soon. I love you. Bye.